Darth Vectivus was a Sith Lord who was a member of the Bayonite Sith Order. He's believed to be the only Sith who have never committed any real acts of evil, and he lived his life as a businessman. He was force sensitive and found a reservoir of dark side energy on one of his mining colonies. From there, he would seek out the Sith and eventually became the dominant Sith Lord, making him a gray Sith. Seriously, I hear you ask? Well, no, that's actually a lie that was repeated on the internet as fact. In reality, Lady of the Sith Lumaya discovered the Dark Lord's home and learned his technique to create dark side phantoms. He was a businessman, he was a member of the Rule of Two Sith, but the rest of his story is almost certainly a fabrication by Lumaya to trick Jason Solo into questioning his place in the Jedi, tricking him into thinking that it's possible to become a Sith and to use the dark side without being corrupted by it. But there are several things in universe that point to his origins being made up. If he was a member of the Bayonite Sith, his apprentice surely would have killed him, as was tradition. She told Jason that he died of natural causes, surrounded by friends, and family. And Lumaya clearly had motivations to lie to Jason. She wanted to form a new Sith Order, and deeply hated Luke Skywalker. Since he injured her, she had to have large portions of her body replaced with cybernetics. Lastly, there is literally no proof that anything Lumaya said was fact. Please read the books.